Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about the top seven best free AI art image generation mid journey alternatives. It is a step by step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So if you're actually wondering what are AI image generators, so there are actually computer programs or systems powered by artificial intelligence. Have you ever wondered if there are any alternative to those expensive AR art generators? Because in this video, we're going to talk about some fantastic free alternatives for this. And we're actually going to walk you through the step-by-step -step guide on how to use the seven of the best free AI art image generator. So our first stop actually in here is ChatGPT. So this is a versatile AI tool that often comes with a hefty subscription fee. However, onto this video, we're going to show you how to use it for free with Polynesian AI. So this is actually more like a combination of Polynesian and ChatGPT. So you'll just need to head on to ChatGPT's platform right after click on try ChatGPT. So you'll just need to simply click onto that. Once you're actually in here, you could see this send a message button in here. So this is where we're going to type in a prompt. So this is actually the prompts. I have pasted it in here in the notepad for a clearer view. So you'll need to type in exactly this one. So I need you to pause the video if you need some time to copy this. Paste it in here on to send a message. So since we have it already in here, let's just simply click on the screen button to send this message. And let's try to see what it will give us. Now, as you can see, this is what it'll give us. So onto the first part, you actually saw a link in here and it actually transported onto this photo. So as you can see in here, there is also a description that the generated description in here captures the essence of the input image depicting a cat on a comfortable looking couch, exuding cuteness, set against a colorful interior design, reminiscent of the style of Vincent van Gogh and the provided image link showcases this description. So actually, this is just like a link, but it actually generated onto a photo. Now let's try in another prompt in here that I have. So since we have this one already here onto the first part, so this is what you'll just need to paste in right after. Just the input and the output since the AI already got the concept on what we're trying to do. Send this one out. So as you can see in here, there are actually two responses that ChatGPT offers. So your choice will help make ChatGPT better. This is the first output that we have and this is the other one. So we'll just need to simply click onto the one that you prefer. But I think both of them are just like similar. But I think this one is better since it has a description. Now, next up, the other tool that we have in here is Blue Willow. So this Blue Willow in here is a fantastic alternative to Mid Journey because Blue Willow operates with three simple steps just like its counterpart. How this works is you'll need to join the Discord in here, go to a rookie channel, and receive four images. So we'll try this one out. So for us to be able to get to the Discord page, we'll just need to click onto this try now for free, and then you'd be able to get redirected onto the waitlist. Now, right after putting your full name and email address and clicking on next in here, you should be able to get redirected onto the Discord invite. So we'll just need to simply click onto accept invite to head onto their page. Now, once you're actually onto the Discord, you'll just need to scroll down in here to the channel and choose a rookie channel in here. So we could try to choose this five in here. And then right after, we'll need to type in the prompt in here to generate a photo. So what we'll need to type in in here or add in here is this one. Imagine. So we'll just need to simply click onto that and onto the prompt in here. You need to put in here what you want to have onto your photo. So we could try to use the same prompt that we have been exploring earlier. So we could try in here, which is a dog comic style artwork, cute, vibrant, highly detailed. So let's try to send this one out and let's try to see what it will give us. So as you can see, it is already sending a command. Now, since there are actually a lot of generations in here, what you'll just need to do is head onto this inbox in here. So that you should be able to see the different mentions. So as you can see, Blue Willow mentioned me in here regarding its generation. So let's just simply click onto that. And here are the four photos that it generated. So in no time, you'll have your AI generated image for free, just like Mid Journey, but without the subscription cost. Now let's head on to the other tool that we have in here, which is Instant Art. So it is actually a tool that offers customization options for your AI art generation process. So we'll just need to simply click onto the few more details regarding this that Form. So as you can see in here, this is the journey of instant art from passionate beginnings to a new horizon. So as you can see in here, for you to be able to do this, you can select onto the different models that it offers, which can significantly impact the output style and just the same onto the other image generation tool that we have in there. Just search by prompt and you should be able to see the results. Now, Synthesis X is our next destination. So this platform is offering a quick 
AI art solution. Although it has some limitation, it can still be incredibly useful. So with Synthesis X, you can generate AI art from existing internet images. So let's see how to do it and learn about how to use this one. So for you to be able to get started for this, we're going to just use the free plan. So we'll just need to head onto this website in here and you need to add Synthesis X to Chrome. Now, this is actually an extension. So we'll just need to have this one added to Chrome. We'll talk a little bit about what really gives this Synthesis X an advantage to other platforms. So if you're actually feeling lazy and you don't want to go and generate a full prompt, what it will do is you could choose an inch from the internet and you could choose an image from the internet and you could copy that image, duplicate it and put it through their model and it will give you a new one that's AI generated. So you can use it. So we'll just need to simply click on to add to Chrome to have this added onto your website. Then you should be able to see this pop-up screen. So you'll just need to simply click on to add extension and then right after. Once it is already added, so I'll just check onto this and and as you can see, Synthesis X has been added to Chrome. So what you'll need to do is head on to Google Images. Then right after, you'll just need to type in here the photo that you want to see, just like when you're trying to search an image onto Google. So let's try to add it in here, cute dogs. So as you can see, here are different photos of cute dogs that it has generated from Google Images. So what you'll need to do is just simply click onto your photo in here. And then right after, right click it and you should be able to see the extension in here. So we'll just need to revisualize this image, click onto that and you should be able to see this pop up screen in here. So there are actually two options four images and two images. Now, as you can see, it actually generated two photos of cute dogs in here that is similar to the one that we have here. So you'll have the option to download it, choose a variation, and choose a Super HD, and you could try again to regenerate. Now let's move to Alexia Art in here, known for its high quality AI art generation. So keep in mind that it has a trial limitation. And if you have scrolled on here onto the bottom part of their website, there are actually different inspirations that you could use from. So these are generated by other users, but we'll just need to type in in here in the search for an image, the same prompt that we've used earlier, which is a dog, comic style artwork, cute, vibrant, highly detailed, and let's try to see what it will give us. So click on the search. So if you click onto that, here are actually the photos that was already generated by other users. So they will give you that as an inspiration on what your prompt would going to be look like. But if you want to generate your own, simply click here onto the upper part on the generate. And then right after in the describe image, put it in there. You could also add in a negative prompt in here onto what you don't want to see onto your photo. Let's add in here blurry. And then right after you could choose the dimension in here. You just need to update this and you could also upload an image for a reference. So let's click on the generate and let's see what it will give us. So we'll just need to wait for this to finish out. And as you can see, here are the photos that it generated. So it actually really depicted the prompt that we have in here, which is comic style artwork, cute, vibrant, and highly detailed. So we'll just need to zoom this pictures out and you'll actually have the option to download this and add this one onto your favorite or like images. Now onto our next tool or our next stop, which is DDM AI. So this offers a unique combination of image search and AI art generation. So it's a real game changer. So you can search for images in here on the internet and then generate AI art based on those findings. So to use this, it is actually really very simple since it has actually a search bar in here and it is actually a minimalist design. So we'll just need to paste in, in here the same prompt that we have been using, which is the, a dog with a comic style artwork. So cute, vibrant, highly detailed. And let's try to see what it will give us if we try to click on to enter. Now, as you can see, here are the different photos that it generated. So it actually depicted the prompt that we have, which is a dog comic style artwork, which is cute, vibrant, and highly detailed. So these are the photos in here that it has generated. So we'll just need to simply click onto the one that you prefer so that you could have it downloaded. And last but not the least, we have your is Playground AI. So this is actually a powerhouse for AI art generation because the best part, it offers an astounding number of free image generation per day. So we'll take a dive into Playground AI in here. So what we'll need to do is just simply click onto this Get Started button. Then right after you click that, it will give you an option to sign in. So you could continue with your Google account. Now for you to be able to use this tool, you'll just need to first describe the image that you would like to create. So we'll still use the same prompts that we have been using earlier. Then let's click on the Generate. Then as you can see, this is the photo that it generated. So there is actually a tutorial here since we're just starting out with this website. So let's just put it in here inside like that. And there is actually an option for you to experiment with different filters. You'll just need to simply click onto that so that you'd be able to see different filters in here. So let's try this one out. And to see that filter onto your photo, simply click on the generate in here. 
Zero, I think, Playground AI in here stands out among AI art generators due to its combination of versatility and accessibility. So it offers a diverse set of AI models and customization options, allowing users to create art in various styles. What makes it particularly appealing is its generous free plan, which provides users with a substantial number of daily image generation at no cost. So this combination of flexibility and accessibility makes Playground AI a top choice for those seeking a high-quality AI-generated art without breaking the bank. And there you have it. We've explored seven fantastic free AI art image generator, each with its unique features and advantage. I hope this guide has been helpful. And if it is, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, just comment it down below. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you on to our next video.